fair? Life's not fair. <laughs> sure. Hey, Frankie. You're yeah. Right? What? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Troubled former UFC middleweight fighter Elwood Dalton makes a living scamming fighters on the underground circuit. He is approached by Frankie, the owner of a rogue roadhouse in the Florida Keys community of Glass Key, who offers him a job as a security guard. Initially hesitant, Dalton accepts the offer after narrowly avoiding a suicide attempt by train that destroys his car. He takes a bus to Frankie's establishment, called The Roadhouse, and befriends Charlie, a teenager who runs a bookstore with his father, Stephen. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton. Big fan. At The Roadhouse, Dalton fends off a motorcycle gang working for local crime boss, Ben Brandt. Life's not fair. <laughs> sure. Hey, Frankie. Yeah. And personally escorts an injured thug to the hospital, where he meets Ellie, a doctor who treats his injuries. Living on Frankie's disused houseboat, Dalton mentors other bouncers and becomes popular with the locals. After an assassination attempt on him by gang leader Dell, Dalton finds him lying on the houseboat. He throws Dell overboard but is unable to save him from being killed and eaten by an alligator. Roadhouse. Come on, man. Knox, a deranged lawman, is assigned by Brant's imprisoned father to hunt down Dalton. After an unexpected date with Ellie, Dalton is confronted at gunpoint by the sheriff, who tells him to leave town. However, Ellie, who turns out to be the sheriff's daughter, intervenes. She explains that her father is in cahoots with Brandt, who inherited his wealthy father's drug empire. Brandt meets Dalton at the roadhouse and taunts him about his past. In a UFC title fight against a friend, Dalton is overcome with rage and kills his opponent in the ring. Knox arrived with Brandt's men and a bar fight ensued, leaving Dalton battered. Frankie recognised that Brandt had bought the property to build an expensive resort, but he was the only holdout. Dalton decides to leave town, but he finds Charlie and Stephen in the hospital after Brandt's men burn down their bookstore. Enraged, Dalton kills one of the thugs responsible and arrests a deputy sheriff who made a large cash delivery belonging to Brandt, framing the deputy sheriff for the murder and taking the money. My boat. Oh, yeah. You're going to be short one sheriff's boat. I don't know. Anyway, you and I have only been I, talking I, for about a minute and a half. I don't half. understand. Oh, what's that over there? The sheriff soon informs Dalton that Brant has kidnapped Ellie and will exchange her for the money. Stealing a bomb-laden motorboat to reach his ship, Dalton meets with the sheriff, who says that the kidnapping was a lie to lure Dalton aboard. However, Brant reveals that he has Ellie hostage. Tempers flare as Knox approaches with his boat, but Dalton blows up the motorboat and finds Ellie below deck, trying to break a window. 
What the hell is he doing? Oh, sh what the fuck is he doing? Fleeing the sinking boat, Brant recaptures Ellie while Dalton takes over Knox's boat. Chasing Brant, Dalton and Ellie jump as Brant is launched over the roadhouse. Climbing to the top of the trail, Knox hijacks a pickup truck and crashes it into the roadhouse, leading to a brutal fight with Dalton. When Brant ordered him to kill Dalton, Knox broke Brant's neck instead. He prepares to finish Dalton off with a piece of wood, but Dalton has the upper hand and repeatedly stabs Knox into submission, leaving him dead. It's time for you to go, Dalton. You were never here. I got you covered. The sheriff arrives, agreeing to protect Dalton. As Frankie and Stephen begin to rebuild, Charlie says goodbye to Dalton as he waits for a bus out of town. Stephen discovers Dalton has left a briefcase filled with cash as the bus drives off. 